I got the blind blown away. <laughs> This hunt's on the last day of the season, and even though it was the last day of the season, we still decided to use decoys against our better judgment because typically birds are shy of those decoys this time of year. However, we'd seen this bird running Jake's off just recently, and so we figured we'd set him up and just wait to see what happens when he actually sees these birds. All those sounds are coming right to us. <laughs> There's another hen out in the field in the corner. This time was henned up, and when the hens came out of the woods, they went two different directions. One group went our way, the other went along the field edge away from us. We need to make sure he comes this way. We were afraid he was going to follow the hens going away from us, so we started calling to him as he followed to try to get him to come back. He couldn't see the decoys because he was at the bottom of a ridge, but he finally turned and headed back towards the hens that were closer to us. Finally, he made his way over to the hens, and they came up over the hill. He was a dominant bird, so he rarely broke strut, and he showed off for each of the hens, hoping to find one that was receptive. The hens were working towards our decoys, so we stopped calling and let them close the distance. We put this in fast motion, and you can tell he barely was moving at all. You can only imagine what it was like waiting for it to play out in real time. He put on a heck of a show. There was one hen left to check, and that was our decoy. We made soft purrs to get his attention. He spots the Jake decoy, and it was game on.
depends on not keeping them on camera. Hang on. Shoot them whenever you can. We'll wait until he gets over here. Where do you want them? Yes. <laughs> We've hunted this bird for the last, well, two weeks, really. Good scouting. And Jim scouted them. We've taken three birds now from this one. We've been trying to get this big boy, and we finally got him. The decoys, Pay it he'd, off. Been running de he'd been running Jake's off the whole time. So we figured we'd go, even though it's the last day of the season, we put a Jake out with a hen, see what happens. And, uh, we smoked them, baby. We smoked them. Oh. This one's broke off, though. I want to thank Ray at Catskill Mountain Calls for always helping us out, working with us, giving us tips. I mean, it's really a great partnership. He's a great guy. Makes some really, really great sounding calls, too. And uh, this, this is one of our best hunts yet with one of our biggest birds yet. And we owe a large part of that to him.